addition to the drop zone, this is the drop zone before Rockstar in 2013! That is indeed true, Chris, and we're going to see some incredible action here tonight. And Chris, what is our main event match? Nathan, if memory serves me correctly, which it does not always do, it will be Busted Ninja and the Wolf versus Barcore Eats and Special Ed. That is indeed true, Chris. This is going to be an incredible matchup between Mystic Ninja and the Wolf. The Wolf and Mystic Ninja lately, Chris, have been, been somewhat of allies. So we're going to see if Mystic Ninja and the Wolf teaming up here together can take on the team Barcore Eats and Special Ed. Fun. Oh, I'm speaking of this event! Here we go! Here comes out we! That is indeed true. The leader of Power to the People is here in a match to go up against the leader of the elite, Caesar and Chris. This all started, this entire feud started right after Ghost Gamble. Caesar has said some incredulous things about Weed, saying that Weed should just be tired because he hasn't done anything of wood in the NGW, despite the fact he's been here for a long time. Weed took that very personal, and ever since, these two have been at each other's throats. Caesar then goes out of his way to recruit members who he thinks are of his caliber, and now he's starting a campaign to take over NGW. Well, that's just crazy! There's one thing that Caesar has that Weed or that Weed has that Caesar does not currently have at this time. What is that, Chris? The Anytime Anywhere briefcase. That is indeed true, Chris. Weed has an advantage over Caesar. So we're going to have to see how that advantage plays in. But right now, we're going to see who the better man is in this match. The two leaders of two factions who are slowly working their way up the NGWF ladder. Now, Nathan! I, I, I just gotta wonder, if things go well for Reed and this match is a short match tonight, do you think tonight is the night where Reed will cash in that anytime, anywhere uh, title match? That That is definitely the question that we should be asking ourselves when it comes to Reed. Will he cash in the anytime, anywhere briefcase here tonight and give power to the people a huge advantage over the elite? That is indeed true, and as we are going through, as we are setting the stage here tonight, ladies and gentlemen, this has just been an incredible ride so far in the 2013 season of Achilles Heel Presents NGWF. That is indeed true, Chris, with our new oh. with our new show, Sin City Blitz, and now with Drop Zone, uh, the last one of the last shows leading up to our major pay-per-view prime time. Chris, this is just gonna be crazy because we and Caesar both have a match at prime time. As an eight turn, as we can see, we is taking the early advantage. He goes, he grabs those steel steps, and I don't know what he's doing. He kind of is acting like a retard. Oh! oh. Speaking of a retard, Caesar hits him with the fist to the face. That is an eight too, Chris. He hits him square in the face. Now, Chris, we definitely has an advantage of the. Caesar. Not because he's the entire new world champion, but also because Weed has been in NGWF back in 2001 to 2002. So he has more of an, an experience dealing with wrestlers, you know, the old school wrestlers, I should say, than Caesar does. Caesar has only been in the NGWF for, if I would take a good guess, at least three weeks. That is indeed correct, and as we can see, Weed. Oh. oh, with that vicious elbow on Caesar, and yes, I'm gonna give it to Weed on this one. He, although he doesn't have many accolades, he has outlasted all the other competition, and is he anytime, anywhere champion? Oh my God! Did you see that suplex by Caesar on Weed? That is an true. Lucius Caesar is definitely oh, a very talented wrestler. This man, no doubt, has inc incredible wrestling ability. When, when you're talking about wrestling capability, Caesar definitely is leaps and bounds better than me. But if you're talking about heart, determination, and just sheer resilience, we definitely sticks around. That is indeed true, and we, it, we may not be the most gifted wrestler, he may not be the best wrestler on any given night, he may not be in the top 100 of the best wrestlers on any given night, but he goes out there and he gives the fans 110% every night. 
That is indeed true, but we'll let's see if that 100... And he doesn't complain! Let's see if that 110% can somehow score victory oh, over Caesar in this matchup. And Chris, I'm really surprised that you are on Meat's side here tonight, because normally you like to take the side of members of the elite. People like Jacques of all trades, Sidney Poirot, and even Caesar himself. Man, I can never ever remember being on the side of anyone else but the fans! Well, that's what you say. And here we go. Oh! We going right after Caesar with a back body drop. Now he's got him in a headlock. But what's he gonna do? He whips him. And oh! oh and a vicious elbow by me! Oh, and then a vicious leg drop! And this is where you're starting to see the veteranship of Reed! Oh, and a rake to the eyes by Caesar! A smart strategy! Oh, and then a drop to him and he puts him down! And this is just, yeah, going back to that, yes, Caesar is an incredible athlete! And look, he is just, he does not relent, he does not let up, even though he is not the veteran in this match, he sure as hell is acting like it! That is indeed true, right? We don't know much about Caesar's background, but what we do know is that this man is incredibly talented, but also has a massive, massive ego. This man, if you were to have a conversation with him, he would talk about himself for hours. Lucius Caesar is not a man who, who thinks about anyone else but Caesar. I want look at that! You know, Reed has his own ragtag group of uh, members. You know, Caesar has these incredibly gifted wrestlers like Mr. Jabba, Joe, Sydney, Dokes. I mean, he, uh -oh. he definitely has an impressive um, group. Hey, that, oh! <laughs> Back body drop from the top. But Reed also has his own group. He's got OJ, he's got El Nacho Cheese, and he's also got. Vindictus Bella, the New Age Rebel. Nathan, that's nothing to be proud of. If you look at the two groups, you have got Caesar, you have got Jude, you have got some other guys like Sidney Perello. Wait a minute. Oh, there he goes. The Rubicon. Could this be the end? One, one two, oh, 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 one count. Only one count. We need sticking in there. We is the only, I would say, quote unquote, serious, uh, oh. hardcore wrestler in that group. Whereas the elite, you have some serious, serious technical wrestlers who go out there to try and prove every night that they are the best at what they do. That is indeed true. We're gonna, we're gonna see some of the power of the people and elite matches at prime time. Sydney is gonna go up against Vindictus Bella. We is gonna go up against Caesar, and we also. We're going to see an incredible, incredible match uh, between these two That's an age here, Nathan. I don't know why you dragged it out, but oh my god, speaking I'm of dragging it out! Oh my god, that was a vicious elbow by Weed on Caesar. Almost dirty. Almost dirty, and the reason why I was dragging it out, Chris, oh, is because I was trying to make it more dramatic. Because it's prime time. It is definitely prime time, but not right now. Uh-oh. No, this should be illegal, Haven. Oh, no! no! Pilot driver on the outside, on the concrete floor. Chris, there is so little padding on the outside that you probably should just, we should just get rid of it because it doesn't really protect you from that hard, hard floor. Well, Nathan, I remember when you submitted that request that the wrestlers wrestle on lava. They didn't quite go on with the wrestlers. I was... Well, I was read with the time, and well, I think you can guess what we were on. You were on awesome! Anyway, as we can see... Oh! oh my god! The face hit the, hit the floor so hard, and this is how he kicks the elbow! We just... He, we right now is definitely in control of this match. He's definitely in control of Caesar, but Caesar's fighting right back. We... Oh my face. god, Nathan, whatever that is, that substance should be illegal! And here we go, he flips the rope, BAM! Those are the pin, the ref is not even close to me! No, the ref, I don't know where the hell the ref was. Maybe he got some views, but whatever came up with me. 
and I'm not sure, but we with his finishing maneuver, which is called the legalizer. Uh oh, he missed the L or he missed the clothesline, and now Caesar taking advantage and down oh, oh, right to the throat. Right to the throat doesn't mean true. This is the big one. one. Only, Only a one. one. Oh, one count. Only a one count. These two have definitely become a great matchup. The two leaders of the two. Oh, oh. and Reed's been busted open. Wait a minute, bam! And flips him over. Oh, oh my God, wow. that was just incredible by Caesar on Reed, and now he goes for the pin. One, one two, two, three, and Caesar of the Elite has won here tonight. That is an eight true Caesar picking up a victory for the Elite here tonight, and Chris. Like you mentioned before, we put 110% in every match he's in, but tonight just was not me tonight. That is indeed correct as we gave everything he had, and I'm just going to go off a, a, a hint tonight and say I do not think that we will cash in the anytime, anywhere title or the, the briefcase here tonight. Probably not, Chris. Now I don't think there's a good time, particularly because the Mystic Ninja and the Wolf we're going to be facing against all three of the special ones. We have the four biggest names of NGW in one ring in a tag team match. I mean, I don't think it'll be a good time, considering the fact that we will have to go through three other people. Well, that is indeed correct. Now you can see Lucia Caesar, your winner for the first match here at Drop Zone, leading into prime time 2000. We definitely got a victory going on. The team that will go on to face Devil's Tear, the team of Chaos and Phoenix at prime time, and their opponents are going to be none other than the number one contenders, Dawn of Destruction, as they will go into prime time to face the team of Great Society. And Chris, these two teams have something to prove here tonight as both of them need to get a win going into prime time. That is the nature they need to get a win. They need to prove that they are the best in this industry here tonight. That is the nature tag, tag team division is heating up here at NGWF. You've got four great tag teams competing against one another. And Chris, who do you have? And in this match, do you have America's Most Hated, the new team that has only been in NGWF for two weeks, or do you have Dawn of Destruction, the number one contenders? Nathan, I'm gonna throw a curveball, throw something out there that nobody's gonna see coming. I'm gonna say Dawn of Destruction! Well, I, I kind of saw that coming, but still, I mean, this is gonna be a very interesting tag team matchup. Dawn of Destruction is definitely going to have to prove themselves here tonight. They're, they're going to have to show their opponent, Grand Society, who will also have an incredible matchup here later on today when they face Devil's Tear. But Dawn of Destruction has to prove to not only Grand Society that they're worthy of becoming the more dependents, but also prove to the people and to management that they are a team to be reckoned with, the Apex Tag Team, if you will. That's the nature, Nathan, and as we can see, they're coming out to the ring, and they are definitely ready for a wrestling match here tonight for the hundreds and... and the man across this great nation, and in Jamaica. Jamaica? Since when it's NGWF go to Jamaica, Chris? Nathan, shut your whore mouth! Anyway... This is going to be... Coming to you live from Las Vegas, Nevada! I think they kind of already figured that out. I think they kind of already figured that out, Chris. But that's not the point. We are fighting here, tonight, Woo! two tag teams, two uh, different styles, two different people. Who? That is a date true. Who? Are you going to continue or what the fuck are you doing? Um, I'm kind of trying to say this match. Well, go ahead. Uh, only one 
can win. Well, you kind of cut me off, so I didn't know what you were doing. And, oh, speaking of I don't know what you're doing, the monster going after the superstar Chris Moore and going right after his knee and his, and his leg. I mean, he is trying to disable superstar Chris Moore, who is the high flyer, the risk taker of America's most hated. As a name, true, and as you can see, the monster is in the ring. They, they don't really have a good chance, but at the same time, I mean, you've got Player Will Jump, you've got Superstar Chris Moe. You, you, you've got some talent there, but Dawn of Destruction has proven themselves time and time again that they deserve to be in the spot they're in right now. Plus, you got America's Most Hated Manager, Miss Jesse out there supporting them, and you also got Jesse O'Doul, I know one of your favorites, Supporting the tag team he brought in, Dawn of Destruction. I, I just don't understand Jesse O'Doul. What is he supposed to be? Chris, no one really knows the origins of Jesse O'Doul. All I know is he's from some country in Europe. That, that's all. He looks like he's from North Korea. Maybe, Chris. Maybe, but we're in the whole jumpsuit and the whole Kim Jong ill walk? <laughs> Maybe, Chris, but. Oh, <laughs> that, that's not in Europe. Last time I checked. I know, Nathan. That's why I said I think he's from Korea. <sighs> anyway, speaking of Korea, it looks like Chris Moe is in control of this this matchup. Going right at the monster. The monster, he looks like he's going to reverse it. Yes! And where Chris Moe lands right on his back. And right, right on his back is a big correct. And as you can see, all oh, the... Monster tags in the ghost! That is indeed true. Now it's going to be a matchup between the MMA style fighting of the ghost versus the high fly moveset of Chris. Oh, wait a minute. Never mind. Now the player Will Jones is coming in. He's going to the top and. Oh, me! <laughs> Just, I have never seen that move before, Nathan! I'm not entirely sure what that was, but it was effective. That is indeed correct. As you can see, the player Will Jones working on that arm of the ghost! Oh! Going right after his arm and DDT! A vicious DDT by player on the ghost! Now, Chris, what do you think Dawn of Destruction's chances of winning the tag team championships at primetime against the team of Black Nick, Grave Digger, Grave Society, as they like to call themselves, what do you think their chances are? Well, Nathan, I think that their chances are pretty good, and I'll tell you why. Grave Society had one hellacious matchup versus Team Doritos, where they were cast as a sort of a David versus a Goliath versus Team Doritos. Now, Grave Society, even though they are the tag team champions, would have to, to climb that mountain, if you will, and prove that they could beat these Goliaths of Dawn of Destruction at Pride Time 2013. And it would just be a hellacious matchup because as you can see, like people like Grand Digger, they're not physically strong. They are, you know, they're just opportunists. They just get lucky. That is indeed true. Great Grand Digger is not known for his physical strength. He's known for punishment. He's like basically El Nacho Cheese, but without the silly attitude. Uh, Grave Digger can So take... he's nothing like El Nacho Cheese! No, 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 and the fact that El Nacho Cheese can take a fucking beating. I mean, Grave Digger has been known for his feud with Black Nate, with Wolf, and each of those who are, and with Mad Dog, and each person he has feud with here in the NGWF, he has come out bloody, beaten, and broken. <laughs> but it's only, but he just keeps coming back for more. And Gravedigger is going to be a factor in that matchup. That is an incorrect, as you can see. Uh oh. Oh, the ghost looks like he's had enough of this. I don't know what he's getting ready to do, but it looks like it's going to be effective. Yes, he's got him a submission maneuver on the on the ropes, and it's completely legal, ladies and gentlemen. Completely legal, like that 16-year-old girl you slept with last night. She told me she was 18. Well, it's, it's okay, Nathan. It's 16's okay here. Oh, that's, that is true. But right now. It looks like America's most hated or a complete control of this matchup. And, you know, America's most hated is going to go up against another tag team at uh, prime time. They're going to go up against Amer uh, not America's most hated. That, that would be redundant. Maybe but you should know your fucking rule, Nathan. They're going to go up against 
devil's here! That, that's what I was trying to get to, Chris. America's most Maybe famous... you should get there instead of running around in wagons! Well, I like my wagons. America's Most Hated will fight the team of Phoenix and Chaos, otherwise known as Devil's Tear, and that will be a very good matchup. A new team versus a team of veterans, of two people who have been in the NGWF for a very, very long time. That's indeed, oh, correct! And Chris, I want to hear your thoughts on America's Most Hated versus Devil's Tear. Who has the advantage and who's going to win? Nathan, if I was to say who was going to win, then the fans would not tune in. Nathan, I will say that prediction for Primetime 2013. What is that, Chris? Oh, wait a minute. Oh! oh my God, that is going to be eventually. But now let's get to this match. Oh, my God, he just stepped on his chest. He stepped on his chest. Chris Moore was looking like he was going to finish off the, the monster, but the monster just too smart for the superstar. Uh-oh, and he's pulling that shit off. And the referee is counting! This is apparently has a count out clause attached to it! Apparently, Chris. But, you know, if I had to say my prediction for that match between America's Most Hate and Devil's Tear, I'm gonna have to go with Devil's Tear. Devil's Tear has a lot more experience than America's Most Hate. Sure, America's Most Hated have been all over the world, but Devil's Tear has been longer in NGWF. They have proven themselves time and time and time again. Both Chaos and Phoenix. Oh, look at that! Both in tag team matches and singles matches, that they are one of the best of the elite, if you will, of the NGWF. Not only that, the fact that Chris Bull is getting his ass handed to him. Uh oh. Oh my god. Uh oh. Oh, oh man. This has just been an incredible tag team matchup thus far. And oh. Uh, it looks like DOD has complete control of the superstar Chris Moore. Miss Jesse trying to improve a distraction, but not. Oh my god! The monster and the ghost are just, I guess, not distracted by her womanly charms. Oh, uh, the monster went back into the ring to reset the count, and they are just beating the hell out of Chris Moore on the outside. Oh no, he's fighting back now! Hey. Oh, the monster pushes Miss Jesse! Oh, Chris Moore takes advantage of the situation, goes right after the monster, the ghost gets right back up. He grabs him and tosses him, but nothing really terribly happens there. And But he tosses him again! Whoa! What is he doing on the outside? She, she's getting right in the mix of things. She's attacking the monster, and the monster is just pushing her away, and then he gets right back in the match and throws, <laughs> he throws Chris Moore out. So... Dawn of Destruction can wear him out more. That is indeed true! And as we can see, they are stalking him like the prey he is! That is indeed true. Oh! Superstar Chris Moore fighting back with every inch of his being throws in the ghost, the ref. I really don't know what the ref's doing. He should really be counting at this point. But he's not. And right now, Chris, Superstar Chris Moore, no, oh, with a backbreaker. Oh, the backbreaker is a decorator and a jar of bubbling. That is indeed true, Chris. And right now, Chris Moore is, he's trying. Trying to catch a breather. He's trying to catch a breather. Oh, the monster with the elbow to Miss Jesse. That is indeed true. And the monster. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, I think Dawn of Destruction is just toying with a superstar, Chris Moore. That is indeed true. It does look like that. Oh, oh and I'm all to the face. That is indeed true. And so far, Dawn of Destruction has been in complete control of this match. And the player, Will Jones, just sitting in the corner. Chris Moore needs to tag in his partner. And he needs to try to get away from the monster and the ghost if he has any chance of leading his team to victory. Oh, Miss Jesse throws the monster into that ring post. <laughs> I don't think that was a wise idea. No, it probably was not a wise idea. Superstar Chris Moore takes the opportunity to tag in the player, Will Jones. Oh, is it? Oh, he just tags in Chris Moore. Oh, tags in Chris Moore. What was the point? I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> they tag each other back in yet again. Probably. So, Will, Superstar Chris Moore. Get oh, it looks show. like Miss Jesse did something to Jesse O'Doll on the outside. And, oh my god, somehow the monster is bleeding! That is indeed true right now. 
Player Will Jones going right after the monster. Oh, and a big old elbow drop to the face. Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. Oh. And picks him up again. Oh. And for a third time. Yes, the monster bomb. And it is over. It is definitely over in this finisher match. They have definitely dismantled America's most hated here tonight. I don't think it was a finisher match. I think the player Will Jones legitimately got a knock out from that finishing maneuver, but regardless, Dawn of Destruction have proven himself here tonight by getting a victory over America's Most Hated. Good news for DOD, bad news for America's Most Hated, because now they're going into prime time with a loss. That is indeed correct, as you can see, this is just an incredible match and it was over right at that moment. Bam, I mean, just right right here when the monster did the monster bomb, the player Will Jones knocked out and they have a win. D-O-D. They have a win as a dick, Rick. Do you look at the Korean Jesse O'Dor right there celebrating? I don't think he's Korean. But regardless, D-O-D goes into prime time. They're going to face Grave Society for the tag team title. Will the quote unquote Apex tag team beat the team of Black Knight and Grave Digger? Anyway, Vendictus Vera, one member of the power of the people, will go on to face the one-time tag team champion, the former member of Five Card Studs, and now a member of the elite, Sidney Cordero. I'm gonna call him Porkchop! You can call him whatever you want, I guess. But Sidney Cordero must feel welcome here at home, here in Las Vegas, Nevada, his home city. That is an intro, and you can see Sydney coming down to the ring with that nonchalant look and that class, that flair for, that, that just says, I am here, I am proud, and you will acknowledge me. That is an intro, Sydney Perel does have something over his opponent, Vindictus Vela, and the fact that he actually won a title, a tag team title, at that. That is an intro, uh oh. And here we go. Whoa, whoa. Why, why is he do that? You know why, Chris? Because the New Age Rebel doesn't play by your rules. He doesn't play by anybody's rules, and he, then he's fighting for the people without any rules. What? I was, I was trying to come up with something. Well, they did. Not only did you not come up with something, but Nicholas Dallas is coming down to the ring, and he looks like a man on a mission. That is indeed true. He has something to prove here tonight by gaining a victory for power to the people, and they're gonna go in. Uh, Vindictus and Sydney. There's a shame to what's gonna have a prime time. Vindictus Vela and Sydney Perla will have another match at prime time, and that match is going to be incredible. And this, this matchup, Chris, this is just for pride. This is for bragging rights. Who is gonna go in with some confidence into prime time? That is an incorrect as you can see, Vindictus Vela is getting into the ring. Staring down his opponent, Sidney Perello, and this is going to be the epitome of the NGWF! That is indeed true. You have one member of the elite, Sidney Perello, versus Vendictus Vela, the, one of the members of Power to the People. And this is going to be an incredible matchup between these two great competitors. That is indeed true, and uh, oh my god! Oh! Oh, Vendictus Vela! And the match is over! I think it's over! I don't think it's over, Chris. Right now, Vindictus Vela going right after Sydney. Oh, wait a minute. Sydney, man. Oh, wait. Just reversal. After reversal. No, wait a minute. Vindictus. Oh, going after the arm of Sydney. Porrero. Nathan, who do you have in this match? What? Who do you have in this match? I know you think you're cool with Jesse O'Doul and his Korean attitude, but who do you have in this match here tonight? Well, Chris, I'm going to have to put my money where my mouth is. And I'm going to have to... Then hurry up and fucking say it! Nathan, go! Go! Who's your person? Go! <laughs> Who is it? Who is it, Nathan? Well, Do it now! Well, Chris, since you're so excited about it, and you don't... And you want to hurry up and say, who are you voting? Who are you going for? Nathan, that's not my point! I was asking you, and you were just deferring! Nathan, if I were to tell you who it was, I would tell you... Fast and simple, I would tell you exactly who I thought was going to win this match. I was going to tell you that Sidney Perello was going to win. Well, 
Well, you took a long time to say it, just like I took a long time to say it. You still took a long time to say it. But if I had to go. You still haven't said it! You're taking double the time that I have! And you're just continuing to stall while this incredible match is going on! I know because it pisses you off, and I enjoy it. It doesn't piss me off, Ethan! I'm just yeah. saying, there's an incredible match going on, and you are stalling! You are not giving the people what they want! And what exactly is the people want, Chris? The fucking answer to the question! No, it's what you want. Oh, and Vindictus Vela gave what Sydney wanted, and that was a major slam, and then a knee to the face. You still have not answered the question, Nathan. You are still stalling. I'm stalling because it annoys the shit out of you, and I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Nathan, it doesn't annoy the shit out of me, and as a matter of fact, I don't give a shit. Uh huh. Right now, Vindictus Vela going right after Sydney Porrero, and right now, wait a minute, what's he gonna do? He lifts him up, and. Oh, flips him over. No, he flips him over is an incorrect. And as my cowardly announcer, who does not want a name, who he thinks is going to win the match, continues to just laugh and scowl over there, Sidney Perello looks like he is grabbing a chair. That's right, Sidney perello has got a chair. Oh, oh, look at that chair shot to the face. Oh, and another. And right now, oh, <laughs> another chair shot to the face. Sidney Perello is definitely taking control of this match as of now. Showing his veteran's pre uh, presence, and oh, he hits him with that replica title! That is indeed true, that replica title he grabbed from one of the fans of NGWF. Vindictus Vela, right now, he's had enough. He throws Sydney into the ring, and it looks like Vindictus Vela is just taking his sweet ass time, that nonchalant attitude. Taking his time, just like you are taking your time to announce who he thinks going to win this match! Uh, oh, no, you don't talk there! I don't know oh. what Sydney was thinking! I don't know what he was thinking either. That was a very, very poor move on his case. Now Vin Dickens Vela is taking full control by beating the crap. Oh, wait a minute! A few punches, bam! Knocks him down! A barrage of punches there! And now the pin! One! one. Only oh. a one count! Only a one count is indeed correct, Chris. Right now, Vin Dickens Vela, he grabs the crutch yet again. Oh, oh wait a minute! Sydney Pilato has got a guitar! Vin Dickens Vela! Oh! He knocks the guitar out of Sydney Pilato's hands, knocks him down, and now beating him to near death oh! with that crutch. And now Sydney Pilato comes back, DDT! And a vicious DDT on the outside is a decorrect. Sydney Pilato seems to be taking advantage here in this match, and he grabs, it looks like, oh, we, don't, we didn't quite get to see what he grabbed, but uh, Vin Dickens Vela is Whips him into the ring, and as we can see, Vindictus Bellas now, it looks like he is grabbing something. It looks like it is a table! A table. He's got a table, Chris, and he's lo looks like he's got to march right to Sydney Perot, and probably, yes, he's going to set up that table right there and possibly have plans for it to put Sydney Perot through it. Maybe he was going to do a bake sale. Maybe he was going to do a lot of things. But all I know is that Sidney Poirot has a chair, and Vindictus Vela, right now, is completely at... Oh, oh and Vindictus Vela takes that chair! Uh, bam! And turn him out as fair play, and he is beating the hell out of Sidney Poirot with that chair! That is indeed true. Sidney Poirot is not exactly doing a great job of fighting Vindictus Vela in this matchup. But Sidney Poirot throws Vindictus back into that... Oh! Into the ring, and then an elbow to the neck. An elbow to the neck is an incorrect, ladies and gentlemen. I just want to let you know, this match reminds me of pure quality Arrowhead 100% Mountain Spring Water EST 1894. Taste the rainbow! That is an A2, Chris. We were definitely tasting the rainbow in this match. A semi pro I love the taste of what's in my mouth right now! I'm not even going to comment on that. Sydney Perot right now is taking control of this match, going right after Vindictus Vela. Vindictus Vela reverses it, and oh, but Sydney Perot, with a smart move, just throws Vindictus down, and now they're going back outside the ring. They're going back outside the ring, is an incorrect name! Oh my god! Oh my god! Something's happening! Right now, it looks like Sydney Perot is taunting on the outside, getting those fans to really hate his guts. Vindictus Vela has got a drink! It looks like he's about ready to give. Uh, oh, he gives uh, Sydney. He gives Sydney Perot a beer bath, courtesy of that cup. Of that cup, Nathan. That is just wrong. You know how much? It's like a ten dollar charge for beer in this stadium. Why would he take it from a fan? This is not a man who represents the people. Well, maybe because.
because that person gave him that. Oh, oh. that is debatable, Nathan. Right now, Vindictus Bella with a front suplex to Sidney Poletto. Wait a minute. Oh my God. The not on the outside. No, no, the package pile driver on the outside. Right now, he's gotta go for the pin. One. one. Only one count. Sidney Poletto is showing great determination and uh, that resilience. That veteran savvy to kick out after a vicious maneuver. That is indeed true. Sidney Poello really has no experience in singles matches. Well, he didn't until just recently. Whereas Vindictus Vela has shown that he is a capable singles competitor. And they keep exchanging that sledgehammer. We will see oh, if what? somebody, somebody will finally connect. Wait a minute. They keep fighting over that sledgehammer every time someone tries to hit no, oh. Like, oh, there we go. And now the fight, and Sidney Perella takes that sledgehammer, and I guess it's just fair play and hits Vindictus right in the ribcage. That is definitely fair play, especially after getting dosed with the fans drink. That is indeed true. Sidney Perello definitely smells like beer. I can smell it from our VIP lounge up here. What? Oh, so Nate Craig, Nathan, as we can see, Sidney Perello. Right now, I think I'm not entirely sure, but I, that the new age rebel Vindictus Bella. Oh man, he. I mean, I, I'm not entirely sure. Uh -oh. oh, wait a minute. What's going on here? Cindy Perello. Oh, oh he threw the barricade. God, ladies and gentlemen, that is just crazy. Right into the fans. Right into the fans. Cindy Perello says to Vindictus Bella, "You want to fight for the people? Fight." And one. I will hand you to the people, but I will push you to the barricade first. That is indeed correct. That is probably what he said. I don't know. I don't. I don't understand anti-Semitic things that are going on here in the ring tonight. Uh, sure, Chris. I right know Sandy Perel once again. Oh, and he throws him into the fans. <laughs> once again, he gives. He says, "You are the fan of the people, or a, a person of the people." There you go! There you go, people! Here's Vindictus Vela, your so-called champion. Wait a minute! Vindictus Vela out of nowhere! Once again! Oh! oh! With that, that, that finishing maneuver, this could be the end! One! one. Only a one count! Apparently, it's not that effective a maneuver if it keeps kicking out! Apparently, Sidney Poello just knows. Uh oh! Wait a minute! Oh, no! Yeah, no! no. <laughs> Well, Sidney Perello did the Vindictus Vela, Chris, so fair game. Nathan, just because one person does it doesn't mean the other person doing it makes Oh, wait, it we right. got one. Only one count. And as we can see, these vicious gladiators are fighting, and now Sidney Perello... Oh! Nathan, that's not what it looked like. He was trying to give it back to the fan, and Vindictus Vela would not get out of the way. I, I'm sure that's what it was... Oh! 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 I got ten... I got ten like a terror, yeah, that's right. Like a terror shot, yes. To the base. One, two, only a one count. This looks, is crazy. It looks like that terror shot <laughs> just did not work. And now Vindictus Vela has right been busted on, right, now. right on the guitar. Right on the guitar is indeed correct. Right now, what is this? Sidney Perella picks him up. Oh, suplex on the outside. A vicious suplex is indeed correct. These gladiators are giving their all for the fans here tonight. One. one. Only a one count. Right now, these two men, two members of two different teams, so to speak, are fighting like they have never fought before in this incredible matchup. Definitely shades of what may or may not happen at prime time. That is a D correct on the pin. One! Only oh. a one count. Only a one count. And right now, it definitely showcases that Vindictus Vela and Sidney Perello are definitely to be taken seriously here in the NGWF. And they are just not even wrestling in the ring anymore. They have just decided... They decided to say... Uh, I think Sidney Perello is a little bit uh, dis disheveled right now. Uh-oh. I think it's a little disorientated. Oh! Right now, I mean, all those he those hits to the head have got to definitely wear on a man. And right now, Vindictus Vela knocks him into the ring post. Oh! Bust up of Sidney Porrero, and now they're both busted wide open. This is a match that every time someone does something to another person, oh, another person manages 
to just say, hey, it's all fair. One person bleeds, another person bleeds. That is indeed true, and as we can see, what is going on here? Oh, oh I did it again! And he, he sucked him in! He's been, <laughs> Sidney Perot using some of that veteran savvy to suck in Vindictus Bella, making him believe that he's gonna get inside the ring only to do that. Oh! Vicious maneuver, and now. Steel steps to the back of Sidney Perello! I mean, this match has been. <laughs> this match has been definitely back What the forth. fuck are they doing? The Vindictus Bella just screwing around with Sidney Perello, making him wonder what he's gonna do next. Vindic. Oh! Sidney Perello looks like he's just had enough of it. He goes outside the. A fan gave him that drink fair and square! I'm pretty sure that's what happened. All right now, Sidney Perello looks like. Yes! He could probably. He, he could potentially looking to do a move! Oh, but no! Vendicus move, Bella moves just out of the way, but he looks a bit disorientated and takes full advantage! One, two, three! Hey, oh my god, Vendicus Bella has won! And since you never decided who you thought was gonna win, it doesn't matter! Well, I, I actually I was never gonna decide in the first place. Exactly! So it doesn't even matter! And as we can see, speaking of not mattering, Vendicus Bella has won here tonight! But really, the true winner is Sidney Perello. After all those shots, all those finishing maneuvers on the outside, he kept kicking out and kicking out. That is indeed true. I mean, Vindictus Bella is going to have to try some way of making Vindictus... I mean, Vindictus Bella is going to make Sidney Perello some way to make sure that finishing maneuver has a little more impact. Maybe we will see that at prime time when these two will meet again. An incredible match between these two competitors. And maybe, just maybe, Sidney Perello might get better than Vindictus Bella. Then again, Vindictus Bella might actually prove Sidney wrong. I love you too, indeed correct, but as we can see, Vindictus Ellis was the winner here tonight. And these men were battered, these men were bruised, and ladies and gentlemen, they did it for you, the fans. Devil's Tear is definitely going to be an interesting uh, matchup for the Tag Team Champions Grave Society here tonight. We have two veterans, Phoenix and Chaos, versus the team of Grave Digger and Black Nick, all rivals turned Tag Team Champions. That is indeed true, and ladies and gentlemen, let us remind you that later on tonight we have Komodo Dragon versus the Bowman, Mystic Ninja and Wolf versus Hardcore Eads, and Special Ed. That is indeed true, Chris. Our main event match is going to be special, but also the Bump and Komodo Dragon finally, finally get that one-on-one -on -one match that they both been asking for, that they both have demanded for it. But right now, we have a tag team match to worry about, and Chris, I have, look at those titles. I have a good feeling that this match is going to be something special. Late that it's always special when you have the Davids of the NGWF Brave Society wrestling and just proving to the fans that they are out there risking their life and limb just to show the fans that they happen to know how to wrestle. If they win titles, that's great and all, but they do not go anything above just barely beating the person and stopping right there. They don't torture people. They don't dismantle people. They are out there as true competitors. That's so all you say. But right now, Grave Society, it looks like they are primed and they are ready for this match. They also look primed and ready to put their tag team titles on the line against the self-proclaimed Apex Tag Team, Dawn of Destruction. But right now, they have to worry about Devil's Tear. And right now, Chaos, oh, picks up Gravedigger with ease and just slams him down. Slams him down as a dig correct and as we can, oh my god, did you see that, Nathan? That was an incredible athletic ability from Gravedigger, who is surprisingly agile, while also being, I would say, kind of like the Mick Foley of the NGWF. He knows how to take a beating. A true underdog. A true underdog, yes. And... Oh, also the longest reigning world champion in NGW history, holding on to the title for a year and a half. Something that no one has ever done. How does it be true and a uh, black day? Oh. oh, power slams chaos 
In fact, Back inside the ring! In fact, he's the only former world champion in this entire match, Chris. That is indeed true, and as we can see... Oh! oh my god! Now, Chris, I just received a text that because Achilles Hill Incorporated wants an amazing matchup from both of these competitors, this match has now officially become an elimination matchup. Just surprising news. And the ref just now told both teams that. That is indeed correct, Nathan. And as we can see, we are going to see who will come out on top. The overpowering chaos and phoenix of devils here, or the underdog in every man of Black Nate and Grave Digger. I don't, I will never call, I will never ever call Black Nate. You are a racist! I, you are going to say you would never call a Black Nate an uh, underdog. Chris, Chris, Nathan, Chris. that is just insane. Chris, Chris, he's not black. He wears black makeup. Then why is he called black mate? Because he, he's black. What did you just say to your own question? He wears black. How about that? Now, right now, spe speaking of blackness, it looks like Chaos is in control of one half of the tag team champions. Black Nate with an elbow to the face. And this is not the first time Chaos and Black Nate have been in a match together. These two have fought each other as well, but never anything of this magnitude. Never anything of this scope. If Devil's Tear beats the tag team champions, I have no doubt in my mind they will get a tag team title shot sometime down the road. If Rave Society wins, they get a huge win going into prime time with a lot of confidence. A huge win would be nothing more than these simple folk of Black Knight and Grave Digger showing that they are out there risking their lives and look, taking a beating by chaos here tonight. They, they don't represent the common man. Black Knight, all he cares about is terrorizing people. That's always been a man. He's been a man about psychological fear. He knows how to manipulate. He knows how to charm. Chris, I dare say. Oh, If anything Black Nate is, I would probably say he's on the line of either being a sociopath or a psychopath. He is just dangerous because he took over Grave Digger the first time these two fought. He took over his soul, making Stop Grave Digger. Slam! Nathan, are you going to call this match? Making him lose uh, the West Coast Championship to Special Ed. And yes, Chris, I am calling this match. I'm telling the people a little bit about something about Black Nate that they probably did not know. All he had to do was watch, and ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, the glasses of Marmalade are on here and tonight. And right now, Chaos, oh, what a neck breaker of sorts. Chaos has been someone who's been in the NGW who's fought many, many talented wrestlers. Many of the NGW veterans, such as Dealer Cole, Strife, Zaman, and Phoenix, the player, you made it, the Chaos has probably fought them at some point. That is indeed correct, and as we can see, uh, Chaos and Phoenix, Phoenix, uh, whoops, Grave Digger back in that ring. Boom! With a vicious elbow! That is indeed true, Chris, and Phoenix is no pushover either. Phoenix is a former West Coast champion. He won the West Coast title back in the backyard days, but hasn't really done much of anything since. This is his time, I think, to try to bring himself up here. That is a neat turn as we can see this match is going on. It's a great digger. It's not the least. Go on. He's working on chaos. Chaos probably needs to get a hunt tag in to Phoenix. That is a neat turn. I mean, you got a matchup between chaos, one of the best technical wrestlers in the NGWF, versus the longest reigning world champion NGWF has ever seen, Grave Digger, a man who's also won the Rage title and the West Coast title, being one of the few dual champions we've had here in the Next Generation Wrestling Federation. That is indeed correct, as you can see, Chaos, oh, he does that, and he does it again, and he flips the uh, Grave Digger, oh. and he's working on that arm and wrist. He's working on the arm and wrist to try to make sure uh, Grave Digger does not do his signature slash finishing maneuver known as the rest in peace and also trying to take away the choke slam ability. That is indeed correct and as we can see Grave Digger uh -oh. Oh. oh Grave Digger with the reversal on Chaos and a huge punch to the face knocking down Chaos for a few brief brief moments. That is indeed correct Grave Digger 
giving everything he can for the fans to show that he's Oh my god, and now the fans are reacting! And right now, right now, Chaos is in control of this match, going right at the go! Oh, Gravedigger with those steel steps. Oh man, just taking the fight right to Gravedigger and taking him down yet again. Nathan, you seriously do not believe that a match like this is a, is a David versus Goliath with Queer Society being the David? No, Chris, I do not think so. Nathan, if that is not the case, then may God strike me down right now! Chris. I'm waiting! <laughs> Chris, I don't think that's gonna happen. Exactly, because what I say is true! I give it the fans, I give them exactly what happens! No spin, no bias! Oh, you say so. But this. This matchup, honestly, oh, these two are pretty even keel. Yes, Black Knight and Gravedigger are the tag team champions, but Chaos and Phoenix are veterans here in the NGWF. So in a way, this match is even out. They have two great tag teams with two different styles, but at the same time, they both have roughly on the same type of experience. That is okay. indeed true, and as we can see, Phoenix with that, uh, uh-oh, what is he going to do here? Oh, oh. vicious elbow to the neck of Black Nate! That is a be true. Black Nate, he made his debut back in two Why is everybody obsessed with this fucking table? I'm not entirely sure, Chris, but Black Nate made his debut back in 2006, the same as Gravedigger, and it was only inevitable. Uh -oh. oh, oh no, wait a minute, what, 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 what is he going to do here? Is this possible? Oh my god! Watching, waiting for his opportunity to get some of Phoenix. My, I didn't think that was possible. A moonsault of that range breaking the table. Nathan, if I am to be honest, I saw that coming. I'm sure you did. But right now, it looks like Black Nate and Phoenix. Oh, wait a minute. No, Phoenix comes right back outside the ring. Black Nate goes in, but Gravedigger takes full advantage of the situation and, oh! Throws him right to the Black Nate, and oh! oh! Vicious, vicious back body drop on the outside, and now what is going to happen here? Oh, I know. Phoenix is in a world of pain as he has to fight between both Black Nate and Big Digger. This is going to just, th this is not Phoenix's time right now. Well, Nathan, I think you said that this is an elimination match. It is an elimination match. At some point, it's going to be two on one, one way or the other. One way or the other, that is going to be true. But not at this particular point. No one's been eliminated. So Phoenix has definitely trying his best not to get eliminated on the outside. And Chaos doing the honorable thing and sitting over there waiting for the tag. Maybe so. Maybe he's just waiting for something for Phoenix to get him back in the ring. Get back in this match and start fighting back. It's like you're Cleopatra, you just called it, waiting for Phoenix to get back in the ring. And Nathan, after you said that, miraculously Phoenix got back in the ring. Nathan, what are the lottery numbers tomorrow? Uh, 12, 46, 7, 18, and I don't know, 49. Well, that is incredible. And ladies and gentlemen, go bet those numbers right now. Nathan guarantees it, or he will pay each one of you to take a value. Well, I, I don't never said that. But, but speaking of lottery tickets, it looks like Black Nate is just toying with Phoenix as Gravedigger throws him right back into the ring. Throws him right back into the ring, and I don't know what Black Nate is doing, but it, oh uh, my God! it looks like it looks like he set Gravedigger up to be bait. And yes, Phoenix right now not taking, uh, not toying around with Black Nate. He's not giving in to his psychological games here in this match. And there you see the Spanish announce table, which was destroyed, right up in the luxury box. That is indeed true. We're in the VIP doing commentary. Oh! So, we're, so those poor Spanish commentators right there, they're, they're right in the thick of this very vicious fight. And I don't know why we, we pay them to do Spanish commentary. We should have to broadcast it. I don't know why either, Chris. Well, maybe maybe we're just trying to be politically correct. I don't know. What the fuck are Black Day and Green Bigger doing? I'm not entirely sure there's a bit of a miscommunication right there, but Black Nate definitely seems to be uh, at the mercy of Phoenix. 
Phoenix! Oh, goes away into that steel post. Phoenix giving his 110%, but his 110% might not be enough, considering he is the Goliath in this match. Maybe so, Chris. But right now, it looks like, yes. Wait, back there with a punch! Oh my god, the demon in this match! Boom! Oh. Look at that! Look at that! And boom! Oh my god, the demon in this match has definitely stepped up! And uh oh! Uh oh. Uh -oh. Wait a minute. The rest oh. in peace! Rest in peace, Phoenix! You're done for one! Holy, oh my god! Oh my god! Uh, Phoenix managing to fight out of that incredible maneuver from Grave Digger. That is indeed true, and as we can see, Grave Digger, he had momentum, and I don't quite know what happened. I'm not entirely sure what happened either. Phoenix using that veteran savvy, now he's playing mind games with Black Nate, and he's running to his partner. Wait, no! It looks like he wants to try to get some of Grave Digger before he does. Boom! And a vicious neck! Breaker. Vicious neckbreaker is indeed correct. It looks like he's trying to tag in his partner. Those steel steps are in his way. Steel steps are in his way, and Grave Digger going over. Oh, gets the tag to Black Nate. And what's going to happen here? Gonna whip him off the ropes and double oh! Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. They are dismantling Phoenix. They are dismantling Phoenix. They are definitely going right after the. The Phoenix is not rising in this match! Oh, Black Nate trips over the steel steps. Exactly what Phoenix wanted him to do. That is indeed correct, and now what is he gonna do with uh, with Black Nate? Not entirely sure. It looks like he's, yeah. Ah, there's <laughs> a Playing mind games with the, the, with Black Nate. And now, oh, Phoenix trying to go for a maneuver, but chaos. And now the glove is on the other foot. That is indeed true, Chris, right now. Black Nate. Throws in chaos. Oh! Look at that drop kick! That pitch of perfect. Pristine! Pris yes, Chris. In, uh, in fact, wait a minute. What is Black Nick going to do? Bam! Neck break on the outside. Phoenix taking some damage while chaos is waiting for this opportune time to attack the Black Nick and throws him back into the ring. Whips him back into the ring! But he is not the legal man! Oh! Black Nick somehow misses! And what's going to happen? take out Phoenix's advantage, hoping that Phoenix will not be able to use his finishing maneuvers, such as the super kick. Oh! Hold on! <laughs> Phoenix was getting ready to go for the tag, and Grave Digger doing the engine doing a special bulldog! That is indeed true. Right now, Grave Digger is in control of Phoenix, and Sidewalk Slam! The vicious Sidewalk Slam is indeed correct, and oh, the vicious tag! As it is two now tags in Black Nate. Black Nate now gonna take advantage of Phoenix's dismantled state of mind at the moment. And now Black Nate looking at Phoenix, basically telling him, you're mine, and boom, big tag team work from Grave Society. That is a big true. What is Grave Nate gonna do here? Oh, picks him up and slams him down! That is a neat true. And wait a minute, he's going for the tag. One! That was not a tag! He was going for the, uh, the pin then. Oh, wait a minute! Here we go! Picks him up! Slams him down! Choke slam! That is indeed correct! And now for the pin! One, One two, two, three! And he has been eliminated! He has been eliminated from this matchup. Now it's just Chaos versus Grave Society, and I know you're happy about this. Nathan, there is nothing to be happy about! What was supposed to happen was it was supposed to come down to Phoenix and Chaos versus Grave Digger in a true David Goliath societal match, and and uh, Grave Digger would have somehow miraculously beat both of them. Well, I'm I'm sure that's what you were thinking. All right now, Grave Digger going right back in the match. He's got a yes. He is going after the NGWF original veteran Chaos, and he whips him off the corner. But Nathan, I don't want to hear any complaining from you. You are the one. Maybe so, Chris, but wait a minute, he whips him, I'm just complaining. Are you trying to say it's unfair? No, Chris, I'm not saying it's unfair, but I'm just saying, since you were so happy, the fact that Grave Society... I'm happy that this is a great match! This destroy El Nod... Nathan, you get over that? That was weeks ago! 
He, he, they still injured him, Chris. That's not something you get over right now. Oh, Chaos going out to Black Nate. Looks like he's in control of both Grave Digger and Black Nate. And no, Grave Digger going, taking out the offense to Chaos. That is a deep record. What is he going to do here? Uh oh. Oh. oh vicious DDT. Vicious DDT on the outside. Wait a minute. Oh, Black Nate throws. Oh, Chaos to the steel ring post and throws them right back in the ring. Grave Digger going back into the ring. The legal man. And wait a minute. Chaos. He picks him up. Boom. Oh, look at that. Chaos theory. And one, two, three. The is down to one on one. Now it's down to one on one between Chaos and Black Nate. This is are you be, happy? This is going to be a very interesting matchup. Fans, are you not entertained? This is going to be a very interesting matchup between these two great competitors. Right now. And the funny thing is, Chaos really hasn't taken much damage in this match. No, he has not, Chris. He's doing the smart thing and staying out of the more violence of this match. That is a neat and he whips over Black Day over into that corner. And what is going to happen here? Puts oh. it back over to that corner. Right now, he's just weighing down Black Nate. He's just making sure Black Nate is weak and oh, keeps throwing him around like a little rag doll. Now punching him in the face, taking complete control of Black Nate, who is bleeding all over his face. <laughs> he whips him back over into that again. I don't know why. Like I said, because it's just to wear him out. Every time you hit those barricades, you hurt your ribs and you hurt your back, depending on where you get thrown at. So that's what he's doing. He's just wearing him down so he can throw him back into the ring and then do the Chaos Theory, his finishing maneuver, and finish this match. What is the nature of ladies and gentlemen? He whips him into the ring, and now it's Chaos. Is Wait a minute! Out of nowhere! Out of nowhere, the spike! Black Knee has taken control! He can put him one, one, two, three! Nathan, Nathan, just like I said, take it into life! Out of nowhere! You just knew! That is going to be true. And Grave Digger and Black Nate win this match. Grave Society goes into prime time with a huge victory, giving them an advantage over DOD. And right now, I mean, let's look at some of the highlights in this incredible tag team matchup between these two competitors. Here we go. Last minute. Bam! The spike on chaos. And Black Nate wins this match. That is a day true, ladies and gentlemen, that was an incredible match, and I hope you stay tuned for our next match. But look at him, the warrior, Black Nate, winning here tonight. <laughs> oh my god, ladies and gentlemen, we are we're really right into this next match. Here comes Komodo Dragon. That's right, Chris, we finally get a one-on-one -on -one matchup between Komodo Dragon and the bump. This match was originally scheduled to be at prime time, but Komodo Dragon just outright refused to wait that long. And now we're going to have this matchup on this drop zone. We're going to see who the better man is going to be here tonight. And Komodo Dragon better watch out because the bump is not in a mood to play around. This is a man who took out some man by throwing him on the steel steps and injuring his neck. Chris, the man is going to be out for quite some time. The only reason why he was in that 20 man battle royale in Sun, Sun City Blitz is only because he was on a lot of pain medication. That is a big true and it did not help that he lost yet again. And here we go, here comes the monster killer the bomb. That is a bit true. That is what the boys in the back are calling the bomb. Mainly because he took out the man. But I won't give him that title just yet. I would I would only give the bomb that title if he would take out Komodo Dragon here tonight. And Chris, I have the bomb in my corner for this match. I think the bomb is fine. He is ready. He's like a bomb that's just waiting to explode. Oh, Nathan, 
even in this day and age, I don't think you should be using that kind of terminology. Okay, well, he is like a nuclear bomb, Wait. Right? Wow, Nathan, not any better! No, go down! Go down a few death bomb levels! Okay. He is like a pop rocket! A pop rocket? Yes, those little tiny things you use and you pop them! I would never compare the bomb to a pop rocket. Well, Nathan, that is the day and age that we live in! Hey, that, that is true. And speaking of the day and age we live in, we live in a day and age where we can see these two great competitors battle each other out to see who would be the better man, who would have won an NGF versus NGW had the Mystic Ninja not cash in the anytime, anywhere briefcase. Well, Nathan, it does not matter. Mystic Ninja is the world champion right now, and these two oh. sour pusses can just get over it. Maybe so, Chris, but we're going to just see just... For oh, oh, looks like the bomb is just in complete control of this matchup over Komodo Dragon, the Leviathan of Destruction. And there's a good reason why he's called Leviathan of Destruction, Chris. It's because at one point he was the most dominant wrestler in the entire NGWF. That is indeed true, and as you can see, the bomb making up Komodo Dragon. Komodo Dragon is my pick here in this match. Oh, oh! Neckbreaker. From the bomb on the outside, these two don't even care about oh, fighting inside the ring anymore. They're going to take this fight on the outside. They're going to try to beat each other to near death. That's what it's going to come down to. And Chris, your phone is going off. That is a neat cheer, Nathan. And as we can see, these wrestlers are fighting each other. They are showing they have what it takes. Oh, they have what it takes. They have what it takes. Is indeed correct. Oh, it looks like Komodo Dragon. And the bomb are definitely putting on a great show here tonight. And that is a day true, and as you can see, and he... Bam! Drops him down. He drops him down on his knee. Woo! Going, making, trying to find a way to slow down the bomb. And Chris, what was that email you just got? That text message you just got from Achilles Heel Incorporated? That is indeed true, Chris, because you've kind of secreted that way. And right now, my partner has to leave for a brief moment. Right now, I have to commentate on this match by myself, and the bomb looks like, yes, Samoan drop from the bomb on Komodo Dragon. Komodo Dragon. Ah, oh, wait a minute. The bomb went for the pin. One. Only a one count. Komodo Dragon needs to start getting some offense in this matchup that even hopes to win against the bomb. Wait a minute. The bump going right out there. Oh! That huge clothesline to the Leviathan of Destruction. Wait a minute, the bump now flipping him over, looking for the right moment. Oh! Komodo Dragon finally getting some offense going in this match. That is a nature, ladies and gentlemen, that is a great example of heroism that is going on here in the HWF in these days. And boom! An amazing slam from the bump. Nathan, uh, what? God, that is just, that is breaking news from Achilles Field Incorporated. We and Caesar while we were going to fight each other prime time. That was inevitable. But now, false count anywhere, now the stakes are even higher. Yes, Nathan, people. the stakes are higher and hopefully they are medium rare. Right now, Komodo Dragon throws the bump on the table. Oh, but the, but the Komodo Dragon looks like he's suffering some rib injuries. No thanks to the bomb, who's been pretty dominant in this matchup thus far. That is indeed true, and as you can see, the bomb, and he whips him outside. He whips him on the outside, and those two are continuing the the struggle, the epic fight between the two of them. That is indeed correct, and as we can see, and he throws him to the barricade. Wait a minute, the bomb looks like he's getting ready to do something. He's preparing. Komodo Dragon is. Oh my god, it's slow motion! Oh, the bomb destroys the barricade by putting Woo! Komodo Dragon through it. And yes, that is worthy of an instant replay. Just sheer domination. And that wasn't oh. worthy of a instant replay. That was worthy of multiple instant replays. And as you can see, what is happening here is the bomb is somehow dismantling Komodo Dragon. Maybe it's true 
Oh, maybe it's true what the boys in the back are saying. That the bomb is indeed the monster killer. He has been in control of this matchup for the majority of it. Komodo Dragon barely been able to put on offense. And now he is injured, holding his ribs because of what just happened. That is indeed true. And as we can see, oh my god, look at that. And right to the eyes. That is indeed true. You know, they cleaned up that Spanish and Alex table pretty fast. That is indeed true. They just get, they rebuild them. I mean, it looks like it's a Lego. It, it kind of looks like it does, Chris. But those Spanish announce tables are so easy to break. I would be surprised if this one is made out of something cheap like, I don't know, cardboard. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if somebody was standing on it and it just collapsed. I wouldn't be surprised on it either, Chris. I mean, they're going to do a move and boom, it just collapsed underneath them. Wouldn't surprise me at all. Would not surprise me at all. And speaking of surprising me, Komodo Dragon! Bam! He, man he manages to somehow get in control of this match, whips the bomb over in the corner. Looks like now, I don't think he's so much toying with him as he's throwing the bomb into those <laughs> barricades. Oh man, just throwing him over the place, making him hurt just as much as he is hurt right now. And throws him <laughs> <it> again. <laughs> I Bam. don't know what he's doing. No, I know what exactly what he's doing, Chris. He's throwing the bomb over uh -oh. the creation. And wait a minute. It looks like, yes! Oh, no! on this fair play, ladies and gentlemen! Komodo Dragon putting the bomb through those barricades. Incredible maneuver and an incredible turn of events as now both of these men are now injured thanks to being put through the barricade. That is indeed correct, as we can see, Komodo Dragon celebrating a little as if to say, fuck you, bomb! That is indeed true, now he's going to pin. Oh. But no, the bomb kicks out. Oh, and that clothesline. A vicious clothesline is indeed correct. Now, bomb goes and picks up that table. That's right. It looks like he's he's definitely trying to see if he can do something. Oh, bam! It looks like the bomb is setting up that table for for something special plan for Komodo Dragon with those vicious elbows and that vicious vicious clothesline. No, it's not even giving Komodo Dragon a chance to get up. And. Oh, a leg drop to the neck. And he goes for the bin. One, One two, two, only three. a two count. Only a two count. Oh, and now a clothesline from the bomb. He is definitely wearing down Komodo Dragon. Definitely. Hey, wait a minute. Komodo Dragon. Oh, no, 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 let's go. One, One, two. Or it was just a roll up. I'm not entirely sure. Bam. And it was a vicious DDT. Vicious DDT is indeed correct, Chris. Oh my goodness, and now Komodo Dragon going right after the bomb. Bam! Then he sets him, well, now he sets him right on the table. What is, what is Komodo Dragon going to do? Oh, it looks like his ribs are just too much in pain for him to be running around like that. And that's not really his game anyway. Komodo Dragon mainly pounds his opponents into submission and beats the living shit out of him. Bam! So sort of like that, he almost busts the table with that incredible STO and right now it looks like Komodo Dragon is yet again going to try to go and put Bum through that table. Like uh oh! He has this very unfamiliar territory. Oh! And he just barely made contact and it looks like it hurt him more than it hurt the Bum in the pit. One! Yeah. Only a one count. Only a one count. This has been an incredible match between the Bum and Komodo Dragon. Definitely, oh, a match worthy of Drop Zone. Definitely a match worthy of Drop Zone. Uh-oh, looks like yes, he's gonna go for that. Argentine oh. backbreaker! A vicious Argentine backbreaker, and now the bomb is reveling in the fact that he is close to defeating what used to be unbeatable. That is indeed true, Chris, and it looks like the bomb is being. And he picks him up, slams him down! And a vicious spinebuster! A vicious spinebuster that he likes to call the pipe bomb. And it's definitely effective here in this match. And now he's going for a submission maneuver. Yes, I think he's going to try to make Komodo Dragon tap. That would be incredible if he was able to do it, Nathan. And as you can see, Komodo Dragon is fighting. But will he be able to? Oh, oh my God, Nathan! Komodo Dragon has tapped in this matchup. And an incredible... He did not only break his body, he broke his will here tonight. That is indeed true, Chris. And... Ladies and gentlemen, the bomb was incredibly dominant 
in this match. I still don't think he's worthy of being called the Monster Killer, but he's definitely got a major victory here tonight. As it is, ladies and gentlemen, as we can see, we are wrapping up for the main event. But before the main event, ladies and gentlemen, are not entertained with what you saw here just now. That is the truth. These two competitors definitely going out there and giving it at all. But tonight, the bomb was the victor, not only doing the pipe bomb to Komodo Dragon, but also making him submit. Making him submit is indeed correct. And the bomb celebrating, and rightfully so, he has defeated what once was undefeatable. He has defeated the Komodo Dragon here tonight at NGWF Johnson, leading it to Prime Time 2013. This is gonna be. Wait a minute. Miss, wait a minute. What? What is this going on? Mystic Ninja and the Wolf are both coming out. It looks like. Chris, what? Is, what is going on? These two seem to be more and have more of a camaraderie than I ever imagined. These two are actually calling each other now, Mystic Wolf. I don't know, Nathan. I have no idea what production decides in the back or what these two have agreed upon. But it does seem kind of odd that they're, they seem to be uh, in a cohesive unit here tonight. That is indeed true. They seem to... That something is happening here in the MGWF. The Wolf and Mystic Ninja seem to somehow manage to become more than just one-time allies. I don't know. I get the feeling that these two are lovers? No, Chris. I've been working with each other from the very beginning. They've been working with each other possibly since the beginning of 2013. <laughs> and speaking of working together since the 2013, look what he found in the dumpster this time! The flamboyant dumpster diver is coming down the ring. Special Ed, the man who will face Mystic Ninja for the Indian Man World Championship, his very first main event match is going to be very special for Special Ed. Saying it's very special for Special Ed normally doesn't have a meaning. You cannot put in the paper what, is, what that is. I don't even know what that is because I have no words to describe what the hell he is wearing. He looks like he belongs in an anime instead of a wrestling ring. Nathan, I believe he is quoted as saying he looks fabulous. I'm sure he would say he looks fabulous. But ladies and gentlemen, I mean, you have four men who will meet each other at prime time. You got Mystic Ninja and Special Ed, and you also have the Wolf going up against Hulkery for the West Coast title yet again. I mean, Hulkery and the Wolf have never seen eye to eye, but at prime time, we're gonna see who the better man is when those two, the man, the myth, and the legend, men coming out to the ring, will fight the apathetic anarchist. That is the nature, and as you can see, Hulkery is coming out to the ring, and he is definitely ready for this particular match. There is no love loss between him and the Wolf. That is indeed true, and I'm sure Easy's just as confused as we are about this new commodity. West Coast Champions. That is indeed true, and then this, this new tag team apparently that's been formed with Wolf and Mystic Ninja. He's just, I'm pretty sure he's just as confused as we are, because I never thought that Hulk Eats or myself will ever see Wolf and Mystic Ninja working like this. Working like this is an incorrect, and as you can see, oh, here we go, this is a tornado, el I think, elimination matchup. Well, we'll have to find out, because I'm just now being informed that this is a tornado tag. I was always in the impression that this was just a plain out tag team match, but apparently uh -oh. these four men do not want uh -oh. to have a classic match. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Oh! oh. Ease was going to do something off the top rope, but to no avail. <laughs> but he's trying again! He's gonna do it again, and wait a minute, here we go! Yes! Superplex on the top rope! Oh, the vicious superplex is a decorrect! Oh, and then he does an HRW special move on! Please show the ticket break at home! That's right, because why not Mr. Ninja and Special, the two men who will face each other at prime time, picks him up, bam! Slams him down. Woo! Hulk going after the apathetic anarchist, 
Lone Wolf, and they're fighting on the outside. Oh, oh and he flips him over the steel steps! And Harkoids and the Wolf seem to be in control. Seem to be in control is an incorrect, and he flips him over to that corner. Oh, now the Wolf taking control of this match. Definitely takes control of the match as an incorrect, and as we can see, a special animistic ninja are definitely polar opposites as far as how they dress. <laughs> The polar opposites, no matter how you look at it, because Mystic Ninja is more of a technical wrestler, while Special Ed is more of a... A Shockmaster? Uh, yeah, a Shockmaster would definitely, definitely fit Special Ed. Or it's the closest word we probably have in the English language that can describe what we are seeing here tonight. That is indeed true. Is he wearing elf shoes? I'm not sure, Chris, but right now... They have pointy ends! <laughs> right now, Hod Koeed going after Mystic Ninja, probably... Oh, Nathan, he did not get those items at the gap. Nah, probably not, Chris. And Mystic Ninja and Hulkoids, these two have fought each other before. These, uh, Hulkoids is the one who brought Mystic Ninja, also trained him to be a wrestler. And right now, it's just basically teacher or versus student in the ring while the Wolf and Special Ed, oh, well, well, they were fighting just momentarily, but now Hulkoids wants to get him piece of the war. <laughs> oh, an NGWS special! My hardcore uh oh, hardcore Eads looks like he wants a piece of Mystic Ninja now! He wants some answers and he is not gonna get them here tonight! No he is not, because I'm not sure if any of us are gonna get some answers. <laughs> what the hell Mystic Wolf is! And now the wolf definitely in control of this match. And ow! DDT, hardcore and just like that, Hulkery has control over the wolf. That is indeed correct, ladies and gentlemen. This is your main event here tonight. That is indeed true. This is our main event. Oh, and this will be the last drop zone leading up to prime time. Uh oh! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, Hoko eats with that maneuver. Oh! Wait a minute. It looks like the wolf is calcul maybe taking a breather or maybe calculating his next move. We don't really know what the wolf's doing. All we know is that Hoko eats is going straight after Mystic Ninja. And now it looks like he's going over after the wolf. And now the Wolf reverses it, and Mystic Ninja going after Special Ed. Wolf, oh, Wolf looks like he may have been busted right open. Yes, Wolf, he definitely has been busted right open. Orko Eats hits him up. Oh, pile driving on the outside while Mystic Ninja is going right after Special Ed, beating him senseless with that crutch. Hardcore Eats went for, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, my God, double RDDT on the outside. He goes for the pin. Now, Mr. Ninja's got to face both Special Ed and Hulkoid in this match. And, well, Mr. Ninja's defied the odds before, but going up against Hulkoid and Special Ed, well, we just have to see if he can fight these two men by himself. Nathan, I think you underestimated him. He is the NJW World Champion, something that these two have never been. That is indeed true, Chris. And rips him into the barricade. Well, where he was going to, but Mr. Ninja calculating his that hardcore is gonna do that manages to do that that is incorrect now hardcore goes into the ring and it looks like he might be setting some stuff up for the stage here so that he can find out he can get oh. his answers from missing ninja here tonight maybe so chris maybe he's gonna well this is hardcore is another one for talk He's been more for action, and he's going to get some answers by beating Mystic Ninja senseless. That is isn't true. He looks pissed. He looks like he's trying to set up the ring so that he can work his interrogation methods on Mystic Ninja while Special Ed, oh, works on him on the outside. That is isn't true. The number one contender is Special Ed going after Mystic Ninja. Mystic Ninja is fighting against... Special Ed. Now, Mystic Ninja, I'm not overestimating Mystic Ninja at all. He beat both Wolf and Komodo Dragon at Ghost Gamble. He beat, at the time, two of the biggest wrestlers, the Wolf and Komodo Dragon. So I think he can hold his own against Special Ed and Hulk Reed. But Hulk Reed never looks like he is pissed off. I've never seen him play like this. It definitely seems that way. And what is going to happen here? Uh, Mystic Ninja, uh-oh. He picks him up and... Wait a minute. Yes! Right there. Oh, wait a minute. And Honko is beginning his interrogation methods going after Eve, uh, going after Missing Ninja with that 
fell. Oh, it looks like... Oh, the Spanish announce table is not the place to be tonight. No, definitely not the place to be. I'm so glad we have a booth up here away from this intense action. Hardcore Eats looking for more things underneath that ring, but I don't think he's seeing them. He's definitely not seeing them. Wait a minute. Special Ed gets picked up. What's going to happen here? Death oh, Valley Driver. It's a Death Valley Driver and Hardcore Eats goes to the back to go for the two, back two. Three. It's almost like Hardcore Eats wanted Mystic Ninja one-on-one -on -one so he can do this himself. That is indeed true. He wanted Mystic Ninja to all to himself so he can get some answers. And wait a minute. Ah. Oh, look at everything bounce in that ring. That is indeed true, Chris. I mean, oh, my God. Oh, and Mystic Ninja taking the fight to Hardcore Eats. Brilliant! Oh! Brilliant! Oh, Hardcore Eats takes the chair! Bam. Oh my god, these guys are fighting for their lives! No. Uh, Hardcore Eats wants answers. He's gonna interrogate Mystic Ninja here tonight. He's gonna get whatever he needs from Mystic Ninja, while Mystic Ninja is gonna try to prove to Hardcore Eats why oh. he is just better. Speaking of better, Hardcore Eats just busted Mystic Ninja wide open with that better chair! That is a me too, because right now Hardcore Eats is in control of this match. Possibly trying to get some answers, but wait a minute, Mystic Ninja, wait a minute, Hulk Eats misses it, oh, and an elbow to the back, and a DDT. A vicious DDT is indeed correct, and as we can see, Hardcore Eats is pissed. He is mad, ladies and gentlemen. He wants, he wants nothing more than to beat the living crap <laughs> out of Mystic Ninja hey, in this match. some sense into him. Maybe, Chris. But I figured you would be happy in the fact that Mystic Ninja and the Wolf are oh. kind of seeing eye to eye. Nathan, you know, that is what two great minds do. They tend to come together and see eye to eye for a common goal. Now, we do not know what that goal is here tonight. Bam! Well, I do, we do know Eads' goal, and that is to do as much uh -oh. punishment as uh -oh. uh -oh. Mystic Ninja as possible and a double on DDT on... Um, <laughs> This is not a ladder match! This is not... What, what is Eats doing? Eats maybe be uh, maybe a big... No, oh, oh, oh my god! And that is why you do not go for moves like that that you are not used to! That is an E2. Hardcore Eats is not someone who goes out of the top of the oh. and, and Mystic Ninja taking full advantage of the situation. An incredible display from the Ninja. That is indeed true, and now, now he's working on that leg of Hardcore Eats. That is indeed true, he's trying to wear Hardcore Eats down. Mystic Ninja is not going to give Hardcore Eats the answers that he seeks. Oh. And even if he did, it would probably be vague, because you work, because he's tag team with the apathetic onicus, the, the psychotic madman that is the wolf. That is indeed true, and oh, and a vicious elbow, or a vicious clothesline by Hardcore Eats on Mystic Ninja. Ladies and gentlemen, your main event, it was four wrestlers, and now it is down to two. These two wrestlers, who were at least friends before we started this match. Oh! We're well, friends, we were friends a long time ago, but they're not friends now. They're anything but friends now. Mystic Ninja is out to destroy Eads while Eads is trying oh. to go. While Eads simply wants to know why his longtime friend has turned his back on him and is now beating him senseless. That is indeed true. And Eads was also beating oh, Mystic Ninja a little bit senseless. Oh my god. But that was because that is the only way he knows how to break this man and get the answers that he wants. Hulk Eats has never been one, like I said before. Hulk Eats has always been a man of action. He's always been a man who wants, when he wants something, he just takes it. And Mystic Ninja, in some sense, is just like that. And right now, oh, oh. Eats' actions are definitely getting the better of this match. That oh. is indeed true. He is beating the beating Mystic Ninja to a pulp here to try and find out why. Why is he teaming with the wolf? Uh-oh. What is this relationship that... Oh, oh, right on the bell. Right on the bell definitely is true. He definitely wants to know why, why Mystic Ninja oh. would ever, ever join with Apathetic Iron And he goes to the pit. One, two. two. Oh, Mystic. No, Mystic Ninja should not have kicked out there. 
He should have just taken it. Nathan, there is nothing Mr. Ninja gains from being on and being in this match. Uh, that is indeed true, Chris. I mean, the only thing he would have gained is gaining a victory going into prime time. But he's already the world champion. Uh oh! Oh my God! Wait a minute. And looks like Mr. Ninja oh! with that vicious backbreaker slash neckbreaker move, and now he's just beating the living ever crap out of Eads. Oh, but Eads now fights back with a huge punch in the face. That was indeed true, and what is Eads going to do here? Wait a minute. He picks, oh my god, the strength of Mystic Ninja Death Valley oh, Driver. A vicious Death Valley Driver Eads using every ounce of his mind, his body, his soul to get up. Oh. But Mystic Ninja will not relent. He will not be let, Chris, because Mystic Ninja probably feels like he doesn't owe Eads anything. He feels like that he can do whatever he wants as world champion. I'm just saying it, that Mystic Ninja may have turned his back to the NGWF crowd. He may have, in fact, be just more than tag team partners with the Wolf. I think these two are lovers. Stop saying that. But uh, now I'll probably, will probably get to try their best to take over the NGWF. Screw the elite. You've got Mystic Ninja and you got the Wolf. Two <laughs> huge names. And Chris, if it's true, if it's true, if Mystic Wolf is nothing, is more than just a one-time thing, we could be seeing a, a, an incredibly dangerous team of Ninja and Wolf. That's indeed correct, and as we can see, boom, he keeps hitting him over and over again. Bam, right to the face of Eads. And he's not letting up. He is letting Eads know that he is in control. And so far, he, he, he's right about that. He is definitely right. But as I said, Nathan, that there's nothing he's going to gain from being in this match. It does no standing whats uh oh Oh, man. Wait a minute. Oh! oh right. As I said, no standing whatsoever on what's going to happen. One, One two, two, and he's that's because these two know each other so well. They know their movesets so... Oh. Wait a minute. They, know, they just know each other so perfectly well. Wait a minute. And... Oh! Death Valley Driver on the outside. On the outside, both wrestlers are bleeding. And what is going to happen here? Not entirely sure. Oh! NGW Special! NGW Special is indeed correct. And right now, uh, Mr. Ninja sat on a table of all things, uh, in front of the Spanish announce table. It's kind of like a table inception, if you will. That is indeed correct, and Hardcore whips him over by the Spanish oh. announce table where they do not speak English. That's why it's called the Spanish announce table. And now, Eads with a oh, Russian leg sweep on the outside. A vicious Russian leg sweep, ladies and gentlemen. This is your main event. This is Drop Zone leading up in the prime time. This is two men battering, bloody, and beating the living hell out of each other. Teacher and student are definitely... Oh, oh the pin! One, One two, two... Only oh. a two count. Teacher and student are definitely having a ball here tonight. It's not about wins. It's not about a loss. It's just a matter of what is going on. It's a matter of answers. Is Hulk Reed's going to get oh. the answers that he seeks, or does Mystic Ninja feel like he doesn't owe Eads anything? Um... Wait a minute. What What is Mystic Ninja doing? I mean, he's going out... He, wait a minute. Mystic Ninja trying to get his bearings, and... Oh! oh. Come on, the vicious light drop, and now the pin! Where's the rough? One, One two, two, three! Oh, three! And look at that! Mystic Ninja has come out and pulled out the victory here tonight. That we too, the student has overcome the teacher in this match. Ladies and gentlemen, we don't know what Mystic Wolf is. We don't know what is going to happen between Wolf and Mystic Ninja. We don't know what this is all about. All we know is, is that tonight, the Wolf and Mystic Ninja are victorious. And both of them have a victory going in prime time. That is a deep break, ladies and gentlemen. This is definitely, definitely not for the fan of heart. 
What has happened here tonight? That is an issue. Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to thank you for watching this special edition of Drop Zone.